If someone's listening to this and they're trying to figure out how to select a good IVF clinic, it's not just that it's the most expensive healthcare decision they're ever going to make. It might be one of the most consequential as well. So how would you counsel someone who's trying to come up with their checklist of questions to ask? Some of it is practical, right? Like which clinics are close to where you live? Because as we You have to go in heard, and get these ultrasounds. You, yeah, yeah, you got to go in every few days. So you, you can't be going to another state. Also, our professional organizations called uh, Society of Assisted Reproductive Technology has a website. It's called sart.org is the URL. And all the clinics in the U.S. or most of them are on there and they have to report their success rates and they're published every year. There's usually like a two year lag because the babies have to be born and everything. So I would send people to that website first, look at the clinics in your area, look at the success rates in different clinics. I probably would go to a clinic that does a sufficient volume. You know, you have to do a, at least a hundred cycles, I would say, but you know, ideally more than that. It's probably an inverted U shape yeah. where if they're too low, they don't have the reps. If they're too high, it's a bit of a sweatshop and a factory and, yeah. and, and you, you want you want in the middle there. There are objective ways. And you can also like interview your, your doctor. Yeah, what are questions you should be asking of the doctor that are independent of the objective metrics that we might have just discussed? You can ask about their sort of philosophy, about protocols, about Things like add-ons, like genetic testing, you know, for example, is like, are you a clinic where everybody is encouraged to do a genetic testing? You know, that's not necessarily the clinic I would choose, right? You, you talk to the patient about the pros and cons and you let the patient decide. And um, we do a lot of genetic testing, so it's not like I'm against it or anything. But, you know, you want to get a sense of the vibe of the clinic. What would be some red flags if you're going through this process? 